Is Tesla solar roof coming to a home near you? That's a question that a lot of us have been asking. And as you know, actually one of the most popular videos on my channel, believe it or not, is not about electric cars. It's about the Tesla solar roof. Uh, I was lucky enough to check out one of the first houses and um, here's uh, the video of that. One of the first houses uh, that had the solar roof, I talked to the owner and we did a follow-up video about all the numbers that he's getting and savings and stuff like that. Um, so I, I, it was pretty exciting. As you can see, some of this, uh, some of this footage is amazing. This, this, this roof has really, really been, uh, I mean, this is, this is a work, it's not a prototype or whatever. This is one of the first customer installation and it looks amazing. I got to tell you, and you know, the person looks amazing. It's definitely working. And I mentioned it, and this is something that I just got from the, um, from the earnings report of Tesla, they're actually updating the Powerwall software to do a lot of cool things. Like, you know, if there's a storm coming, it will actually fully charge itself so it can last through the storm as much as possible. So this whole thing is actually moving. And as you know, part of the, um, uh, you know, part of the, re, uh, what do you call it, the referral program, which I don't really like, uh, they, um, and this is the owner interview, by the way, you can always check it out on my channel later, but um, part, of the, uh, part, of, part of the referral program is that you, I don't know if it's even part of it now but it used to be and that's what i got is you get a token to be one of the first customers to kind of jump in front of everybody and tesla's been you know taking uh, uh deposits for now a year and a half and they said that they kind of have all these orders already for 2018 but then then things kind of quiet down as you know tesla had let go most of the people who are um who were working for solar cities and doing their uh, uh, sales because essentially they were doing door to door sales and 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 once kind of uh, you know Tesla took over solar city they're like no 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 we're not doing it door to door you know barbaric style we're going to build out partnerships and so forth and it looked like things were going to kind of turn around um and uh, you know they started to you know there were a lot of definitely decent news coming out from a, a gigafactory in buffalo new york where they were ramping things up you know panasonic uh, you know has been also retooling and 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 ramping up the production of solar panels and solar roof so things looked actually very good but unfortunately it kind of turned into something that's kind of really slowed everything down and elon only now mentioned during the earnings call once again one of those hidden jams that i don't know if he meant to do it but everyone was kind of looking into the direction of um actual revenues um and the amazing revenues and profitability um he did mention that they are going to start ramping things up sometime next year which a promise that he already made about a year earlier um, now i hope that's the case but i'll tell you where we at with everything and um why uh, i think that part of tesla that was really solar city before the energy part may just be more important than the maybe not as sexy but definitely more important than the part that actually makes cars before that i want to remind you that this show and this channel is sponsored by evanex the aftermarket accessories for tesla not the solar roof not 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 hey by the way maybe it's a good idea but yeah for all of their cars really cool uh discount code in the description of this video i have a few of those on my model s and i absolutely love it and there's a video coming up about some cool things that you can buy yourselves for the model 3 just in time for the holidays all right so uh tesla solar roof um i know that the people really didn't like the idea of uh, actually let me run a different video um they really didn't like the idea of, of uh, Tesla buying Solar City because obviously it kind of added some debt and it kind of gave them a lot more obligations and stuff like that. But I really think that the fact that um, Tesla is committing to not only providing energy for the cars, but providing energy for people who want to keep those cars in their homes and generate enough energy for the home and to the car is, is, is huge. You know, this is really making Tesla an energy company more than it is really a car company and being an energy company i don't know if you've heard is way more lucrative than being a car company um and i just thought it was a perfect marriage you know if somebody is you know wants to buy an electric car these are the people who would probably also be interested in buying you know solar panels and therefore solar roof um, and I think the idea of a solar roof is just absolutely genius, right? It's, it's, it's pretty, it's not ugly. Um, th there are some caveats, of course, and right now it's, it's you know, up there. It's definitely a premier product, if you will. Um, and, uh, but, but one thing I think people don't realize that when you put solar panels on, uh, on the roof, that roof is already 5, 10, 15 years old, right? So whenever you're going to have to replace the roof, you're going to spend much more money than you normally would replacing the roof while yanking the solar panels out, 
putting the new roof in, and then putting the solar panels back in there. Um, that will cost you more than a regular roof really would. So when you put a solar roof on it, you're kind of uh, eliminating that problem, right? You, are, you will be saving the money that you would otherwise have to spend on reinstalling the solar panel installation when you have to change the roof. Now, on top of that, it's uh, much more sturdy. It can withstand a lot of you know, weather, um, and obviously it can, uh, you know, can, can, can generate energy for you. Um, so I, 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 I really, 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 really love that product. Um, and I think this is how Tesla can really once again differentiate themselves from other electric uh, uh, energy co energy companies um, and, and really kind of get a big chunk of that industry as well. And don't forget, their supercharger network is an energy company type of a thing. If, if you think about it, they're, you know, superchargers are competing with Shell gas stations, right? So Tesla has already been in the energy business for a while. Now they're just adding, you know, uh, energy generation and energy storage. Uh, I, I know all this news is kind of boring when they install these humongous battery farms and help countries, you know, to avoid the uh, rolling blackouts and, and, and you know, de de devastation after after the hurricane and you know getting the uh, the energy for hospitals and stuff like that that is all you know groundbreaking and that's all how and that's how tesla is making a lot of money i think their energy product uh, revenues have been growing uh, quarter after quarter after quarter of course it's slowing down during winter times i already explained another video why but i mean i think it's kind of self-explanatory but it is a product that i believe once they actually start doing it, might just overtake their revenues for their cars because I think it's an amazing product. I think that's something that people will buy. I think it's a complimentary product to, to people's transportation and therefore they don't even have to go out and market it to anybody else except for their own existing clients. And the and they other way around, if people do get a Tesla solar roof, for example, or solar panels or, or, or power wall um, somewhere, they would automatically be interested in getting you know a car that can actually use Use that free energy uh, um, and not having to use gas from the same brand. So I think the whole thing is genius. But the, the 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 problem is somehow there's something not working over there, and it doesn't seem like it's a supply issue because you know Panasonic and Tesla. I think they've been working pretty well together as far as making sure there's enough uh, raw material. Um, you know they build a factory, they build another factory. I I don't know what it is. I have to say, and if you guys have better guesses than me which I really don't have any, uh, let me know. But whatever it is, whatever, I don't know if maybe Elon is not paying enough attention between, you know, Tesla Model 3 and a SpaceX and the Boring Company. But I really think that this is a hidden gem that a lot of people may not kind of consider that Tesla can make so much more money on their energy products. And I'm really, really excited. So the fact that they're actually finally saying that, okay, we're going to ramp the production up uh, next year, I mean, I'm hesitant to believe them, but if it is the case, I think this is something that people will realize that will be a huge, huge game changer for Tesla moving forward. So uh, let me know what you think about it. I also wanted to thank one of you guys, specifically Michael Yelly, uh, who became a Patreon. And thank you so much to all of my Patreons for supporting the show. Obviously, you get all the perks of watching me live, first access, exclusive materials, obviously uh, a live chat. And generally, I, I reply to all of your messages and posts uh, uh, um, always, always, always. Uh, and it's just a cool community that I really enjoy interacting with. So if you want to join, it's patreon.com slash electric. The link is in the description of this video. And by the way, if this is your first time watching me, welcome. If you are interested in everything that's going on in a world of electric cars, go ahead and click on the subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for me for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And of course, remember to stay charged.